So I bought this refurbished PS3 from DK Oldies, and in this video, we're gonna see if they actually refurbished anything and if it's worth the $300 price point. All right, so here's the box they sent me. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so open it up from the side. We've got some paper in here. We've also got my order details. So here's my order slip, and I bought two complete in box games, one game only, and then of course the PS3 Slim 120 gigabyte complete in box. So we're gonna see if it's actually complete in box and see what kind of condition it's in. It's supposedly refurbished, so we're gonna open it up and everything and see if they refurbished anything, but here's how it's looking in there. Wrapped up in bubble wrap, we'll take that out, see how it looks. All right, here's two of our games, and maybe the maybe the disc only is in one of these cases, but we'll we'll take a look in a second. So packaging wasn't anything special, but it was good enough to get here in, in good condition so far. We got our two games. We're getting a look at these actually. So uh, Uncharted 3 is supposed to be in very good condition. It, from the outside it is. We've got our manual, got our game. And we're gonna check and see what kind of condition the disc is in. Looks really nice. It's good to see them. We got Call of Duty Black Ops, which should have there we go. We got our disc only game. We also have our complete box game with our manual, our disc. Disc looks pretty good. And then we'll take a look at the disc only game as well. All right, so yeah, that one looks pretty good as well. Cool, so the games are good. We'll test them out, of course. And here is our complete in box 120 gigabyte PS3. Now, if you don't know who DK Audis is, they're an online retro gaming website where you can buy uh, basically retro video games, pretty large inventory of stuff. Now they're known for having really high prices. Uh, just for reference, I paid about 300 bucks for this. I'm talking about that PS triple. And I actually sold a console on my website almost just like this for about 150 a couple months ago. Yeah, so their prices are pretty high if you compare them to like eBay and stuff. But let's go ahead and take a look at what they sent us here. So this one's supposed to be complete in box. And so far, each side of the box looks good. Great games for PS3. You got Infamous, Madden, NFL 10, Tekken 6, Mag, Uncharted 2. Some good stuff there. Now let's go ahead and see what's inside of here. Got a little bit of tape to hold it shut. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of when shipping tape is put on these things because um, it kind of, you know, just creates some more tape on these outer boxes. So looking down inside of here, I see a few things. Hard to tell exactly what's in there. So let's go ahead and turn it on its side and see what's in here. And I'm curious if it's actually, you know, fully complete in box because you can buy consoles with a bunch of stuff in the box but not quite complete. So we're gonna see if we have like all the manuals and controller and all that stuff. If I can get anything out. Let's see, it's kind of stuck in there, honestly. All right, so I finally got the DualShock 3 out and, oh, it doesn't look the best. Let's take a closer look in a second. We've got some manuals. We got whatever that is. Blue, we got a manual for the Bluetooth headset. I don't know if there's actually a Bluetooth headset in here. And then down this socket right here, we've got cords, more cords, and, oh, oh, hold on. That's weird. <laughs> we have like a, is this an old, no, that's not the same. This is, looks like a PS2 maybe? There's a random trigger just sitting in the box. That's weird. And there's our console. And then one more thing in here, we have our Netflix streaming little pamphlet there. Um, it does appear that all the cardboard's in there. Now let's take a look and see what exactly was included. So actually the first thing we should do here is look at what's supposed to be included. So we should have the system, the DualShock 3, AC power cable, AV cable, USB cable, printed materials, and yeah, so that should be it. Now let's take a look and see if that's what's included. All right, so here's our printed materials. We've got our uh, quick start guide, all that good stuff. Actually still sealed, that's good to see. We've got this little Netflix thing here. We have a mini USB charging cable here and it's like the thinnest cord I've ever seen in my life, but as long as it works, that's fine. We've got our power cable here, which I'm being nitpicky here, but I think it's a bit sloppy to not have a rubber band or zip tie around this, just kind of tossed in there. Not a big deal though, obviously. Uh, Bluetooth headset manual, not sure why that made it in there. And then we have our uh, AV cable. So I don't think the PS3 and 360 consoles came with HDMI cables, even though you can use HDMI cables, obviously. And then here's the controller, and it's actually a bit dirtier than I was expecting. So let me zoom in and show you guys. All right, so here's the controller, and looking closely, it actually looks pretty dirty. And I, it's hard to tell if it's dirt or like cardboard dust. My theory is that maybe in shipping, it was rubbing against the cardboard and got a bunch of cardboard dust like ingrained in these thumbsticks. But the, the thumbsticks are like almost brownish because of the cardboard, like threads ingrained into it and then uh looking around the controller it looks kind of like dusty from the cardboard i'm assuming it's from the cardboard it might just be dust in general looking at the sides we actually have some some gamer juice in the sides <laughs> which is some dirt now i'm being nitpicky here because this costs so much and it's not in quite as good a condition as i would have expected it to be honestly so moving on to the console now we do still have it wrapped which is good to see and then i'll take a look at this thing so first of all uh, like I said, it's supposedly refurbished. Um, now, refurbish is a weird word because usually when you refurbish stuff, you open it up and clean out the insides. Now, clearly this thing has not been opened up because you still have your warranty seal. So um, I'm okay with it not being opened up if it's still got the seal and it's working, but I'm not quite sure if it should be called refurbished. 
Now, just looking closely at this console, looks good on the top, no scratches at all. Looking at the side, got a few like smudges and stuff, but nothing crazy. And then same thing, looking at this side, got some smudges and stuff, but nothing too crazy. And then here in the bottom, it looks good as well, no scratches at all. And then looking at the back, it looks good as well. And you can see our model number is CECH2001A. And then last thing to look at is down here on the top slash front, we got a little glossy spot right here, which uh, looks like it's got fingerprints and dirt on it and stuff. There's actually some dirt ingrained in here, which to be honest, like if it's refurbished, I thought that would have been cleaned out. I, again, being nitpicky, but I'm being nitpicky because of how expensive this console was. So let me let me just zoom in, zoom in a bit more. Yeah, so looking at it, you got dirt ingrained all the way around those cracks there and also in this, the disc slot right there. Uh, so I thought that would have been cleaned out considering how much it cost, but you know, not a, not a huge deal. So now let's move on to the true test, which is if this thing works. So let's go ahead and plug it in and see what it does. So we're booted up into the console now, and unfortunately I lost some of my recordings, so I'm gonna show you some stuff I did. So first of all, I booted up and I scrolled down to uh, system settings, and then go to system information, it'll show us our software version. So when I booted up, we were on 4.82, which is pretty recent, uh, but I updated to 4.89. We also have 111 gigs of free space, which, which sounds accurate because we should have 120 on this and and there's always a little bit taken up in the console so 111 sounds about right and i'm going to try to connect to the internet so i already well connected to the internet we're going to see if it actually works though make sure we're not like banned or anything so um internet browser is working it's kind of ridiculous using the uh oh hold up page not be displayed kind of ridiculous using the uh <laughs> built-in web browser on ps3 in 2022 it's just like so pointless because it's so so ancient but why is why was that not working that's weird so it loads up the google search that's odd, but let me try to connect to the PlayStation services and we'll see if we can like download some stuff. So I tried to boot up the store and it says the service is currently undergoing maintenance, which I don't quite believe right in the middle of the day. Um, so I'm gonna search this online and see if this is a certain problem on the PS3. So after messing around for a little while, it looks like I just needed to update my date and time and now the PlayStation store is up dating or up, opening up now. Pretty weird issue, but uh, you, would've, you would've thought I would've updated my time automatically which I even had it set to automatic, but I had to like go manually do it. And now it's now it's loading up. And here we are, the PlayStation Store is working and I have a PS4 bundle. Oh, nice. So <laughs> they take you straight to the site to buy, buy a PS4. And uh, I'm sure that site, I'm sure that page has been there for, you know, a decade now when the PS4 came out. All right, cool. So the store is working. Let's go back and let's try out a game. So I have three games like you shot, saw. We got Black Ops 2 disc only, Black, or excuse me, just Black Ops disc only, Black Ops uh, complete in box and then also uncharted 3 we'll try out uncharted 3 first and we'll see if it loads up Ooh. i think it's pretty dang loud but i think that's just the normal noise for the ps3 disk drive and uh, man the, the more i look at this controller the more unimpressed i am there's just like dirt in all the crevices uh dust in all the crevices there's actually dirt around a lot of these triggers and the edges of the of the, of the controller which like like i said it's a refurbished console it's what did they refurbish if it's got dirt all over it i don't I don't know. I mean, like, I mean, I sell stuff for half this price and, and clean it up better than this. But I mean, like I said, I'm being nitpicky, but I got to be nitpicky for something that costs double market value. So, all right, we're finally into the game. It took me like half an hour to get into this game. Uh, first of all, you got to install the game. Well, actually, you don't even install it. You just install an update. And then it took like a whole five minutes for the game to load up, which I I was trying to look it up to see if that's normal. I don't know if we have a bad disk drive or if just I don't remember how long it took PS3 games to load up. Or maybe it's just Uncharted 3 in general. Um, it's, it took it forever to load up, but we're finally playing. The Uncharted games in general are some of my favorite games of all time. Uh, they're really basic, but they're they're just fun games, adventure games. You don't have to think too hard when you're playing. Got some nice combat, good visuals, especially once you get to the PS4 games. And uh, just like interesting stories. Honestly, I don't even remember exactly what happens, except that I hunt for treasure for, you know, hours on end and then beat up some bad guys in the forest. It's very, very movie-esque, which is why they have a, Uncharted movie now, but uh, yeah, fun games. I'm trying to punch Sully now. It won't let me though. <laughs> but this game seems to work. Ooh, that hurts. This game seems to work. Let's go back to the main menu, and I'm gonna try out Black Ops as well. I don't see why it won't work because Blu-ray games in general, or PS3, PS4, that sort of thing with Blu-ray discs, are like you know 99% of the time they work just fine as long as they uh, don't have any crazy scratches because uh, they have that nice coating on them, which which really helps out. So I'm actually gonna try out Black Ops later. I'm like 99% sure that the game will work fine. Uh, cause like I said, Blu-rays work like 99% of the time as long as there's no crazy scratches. But what we're going to do next is try to PS1 game. Cause I almost forgot PS3 game, PS3 consoles can play PS1 games. So we're going to try that out. Try out Gran Turismo 2, see if it loads up and works. All right. We got to create an internal memory card for our PlayStation game. Oh, so that's actually interesting. It lets you create an internal memory card for the PS2 
even though the PS3 Slim cannot play PS2 games. That's that's interesting. This internal PS2 memory card is actually just so you can save your games when you're downloading like PS2 games on the PlayStation Store. Yeah, they had some PS2 games on PlayStation Store if you didn't know. All right, so Gran Turismo 2 is working as well. Uh, not surprising, but it does work. And yeah, so what I wanted to do next was open up the console and take a look at the inside and see if they actually refurbished anything inside. But obviously they did not because the warranty seal is still intact. Let me just let me just show that to you in a second. So if we flip this upside down, you can see right here, this is the, uh, you open this up and you can take the screw out and you can take out your hard drive. That doesn't involve opening up the console. But then right here, there's a screw under this little sticker right here, which is the warranty seal. And since this is intact, that means it has not been opened before. You could take a heat gun to it, peel it up carefully and put it back, but that's very difficult to do. And it does not look like that's been done. So I'm assuming this has not been opened up and refurbished um, in any way. Now, when I bought this console, they called it refurbished, which I think is a bit misleading in this uh, this context because they didn't, they didn't refurbish anything. Like, uh, you know, they I don't even think they cleaned anything. I mean, the PS3 is very clean, except for all the dirt on this front part right there, which is a bit disappointing. But the controller, like, honestly, the more I looked at the controller, the more disappointed I was that it's not refurbished at all. It's, uh, I mean, it works fine, looks pretty good from a distance, but then you get up close, there's like dust and dirt and all the crevices. So I thought that would be better, especially for the price I paid. Like, if I bought this off eBay, then, you know, who cares? I probably paid a cheaper price. Uh, with this, I paid basically double market value. So I expect something very nice, um, which we didn't get. So I'll give it a rating. Um, so in terms of refurbishment, I'll give it a three out of 10, just because they didn't refurbish anything with the controller. It's still dirty. The console was not refurbished at all. Uh, now, if they called this a used console, I'd give it probably like a seven out of 10, because it's, you know, it's, you expect a little bit of dirt and stuff. They, you're not expected to completely refurbish everything, but when it's called refurbished, I would expect something to be refurbished, which it wasn't. So. I don't know, a little bit misleading of a term. Overall, I'm mostly upset by the fact that I played double market value, which is kind of typical for uh, DK oldies from what I've seen. So let me know down below what you guys think, and thanks for watching.